In this video I'm going to show you how to switch backgrounds. This is the background that I want to switch to and this is the elephant that I want to switch. So basically I want to replace this rocky wall here with this texture. So uh, it definitely helps that both of these images are the same size, right? taken from the same camera, same pixel width and height. Right? If uh, your images aren't already uh, like that, uh, you may want to figure out um, the actual size of the background that you want to use, which would be you know, image, image size, and it'll tell you. Uh, you can switch this to pixels if you need to, but it'll tell you the, the width and height. Okay, And then uh, if it makes sense with your particular project, make sure that the image that you're trying to transfer over matches and you can change you can just simply change it to you know enlarge or shrink it to uh, the correct size or you know change them both to match but in any case uh, it makes this whole process much easier so here's our elephant what we first need to do is select him out all right so uh, I'm gonna go to the third tool down and if you click and hold on that we're gonna grab the polygonal lasso tool all right and it'll help to zoom in on this because the edge, uh, the color of the elephant next to the wall, they're, they're very similar. So we want as much benefit as we can get. So we're going to go in nice and close, start with our tool here. And it's a point by point tool. So basically, you know, start at the edge with your first point and then follow along the edge of the elephant here. So you see if you just kind of hit and pass over the edge it'll scroll for you. right? See there's lots of texture here. I'm not going to worry too much about following it exactly. Uh, keep the speed up on this. Uh, depending on the final resolution that you that you require you may or may not need to uh, worry about the finer details along the edge. Okay, they're coming around the head here. See this kind of area here where the elephant's almost blending into the wall. Uh, this is where using this tool and letting your eye judge can be very helpful over using one of the uh, more automatic edge or color detection uh, selection techniques. Like the magic wand is amazingly useful at times, but in a case like this would be practically useless. like the elephant's trunk is about as individual as a human fingerprint and more so it's got more area to vary and it, it, by the way when you're at the edge you can go right over the edge if it helps to it won't affect your final selection and sometimes it makes it easier to uh, to come in at the right angle anything over the edge will be dropped out of the selection in the end anyway. I'm going to back up a little bit here. I miss. That looked like shadow but now I think it's part of the elephant. Oh, we're almost 
almost there. And see you can pass over the edge. And we can go back up to where we started. When you click on that first point, you'll see as you hover over the first point, you get a little circle in the bottom right hand corner of the tool here. We click, our selection is made, we can go view, fit on screen, and we can see our whole elephant there. Now, uh, it's always wise to save your selection, so say s selection save selection let's call that main click OK just in case we need to get back to it we don't want to have to go through all that again and um, if we say edit copy edit paste we've now made a copy of the elephant a new layer that copies the elephant over top of itself Right, and we can see that if we turn off the background there in the new layer is still visible and active there we can turn that on and off as well visually but uh, that's what when you when you have a selection and you copy into the clipboard of course what you've selected is copied into the clipboard but if you leave the selection active and paste Photoshop will try to paste it directly into the selection because of course what you've copied is exactly the size of your selection it's going to paste exactly onto it right so uh, that's a, if if we had removed the selection and simply pasted uh, it would paste more in the center of the image right so keeping the selection active and pasting right away paste paste your object in place all right it's a very quick way to do that so um, we have our new elephant layer there well we can actually click on it call it that all right but uh, with the other image open right this one ends in uh, 162-xl all right if we go to layer and say duplicate layer all right we have a choice here under destination of choosing which document we want to duplicate it on or over so uh, this is why it helps a great deal to have the images one reason why it helps to have them the same size because then it'll paste exactly in the same place right so here we go we choose the uh, image ending in, ending in 162-xl as the destination click OK and now when we switch over there's our elephant exactly where we need it to be in front of uh, the texture that we chose okay so that's uh, one method anyway for uh, quickly changing backgrounds and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.